Hey guys, it's me, Ashley Watts, and I want to go live today um, and do what they call, I'm just um, calling it Ashley Watts Kids Corner, and this is where every day I'm going to go in and share some of my teaching background with you and my knowledge to help other moms and grandmas and aunts and uncles help your kids how to read um, so that you can be on track when they get into kindergarten and first grade and um, just some fun activities uh, for you guys to do to help your kids so um, at home and be able to better their education without like you know with making it engaging so if you can hear me make sure that you hit that like button and um, so many times I go live and I say this all the time but um I go live and no one can hear me so if you can hear me hit that like button again this is Ashley Watts Kids Corner Talk I'm super excited to talk to you guys today about creating an alphabet book and this is super engaging for kids and feel free as I'm talking to share this video and um, you can just hit that share button as we talk um, or what after I go live feel free to share this on your page so other moms um, can have these great ideas for for them and their their family so this is an alphabet book, and I actually got this idea from my son's uh, preschool class, who, um, if you're ever in the South Jordan or live in the South Jordan, Utah area, she is phenomenal. But um, this is what they did, and we have since recreated a book for my other son, who absolutely loves it. So the only thing that you need for this is literally paper plates. Like, these are the cheap, cheap, cheap paper plates, you know, like the ones you can get for like a couple bucks, and there's like a hundred of them in there. They're just the cheap paper plates. And then one of these, and I should know what they're called, but you know the little rings that detach? If anyone else calls, feel free to comment below because I can't think. I'm live right now. Can't think. But um, this is an amazing tool. Um, we actually hang this up in my kid's bedroom. Um, you know those little, like, mead hook things and um, this hangs on their wall and we review this every single night before bedtime but first we had to create it and um, one of the things I would advise as a teacher is when you're first teaching your kids how to read one of the, my biggest pet peeves is you can go to Walmart and get flashcards and they'll have um like a C and it might not make the c sound, right? Like it might be a Cheeto or, that, you know, something that isn't really a C sound. It's two letters combined making one sound. So when you create activities, I would highly suggest getting um, letters and stuff that correlate with their actual sound before they actually start blending the sound. Same thing with vowels. It drives me crazy like when they have like the letter I and it's an icicle. So it's the long vowel instead of the short vowel. So it's not teaching them the I sound, it's teaching them the I sound. And in order to read, they have to know, yes, they have to know both, but when they're first learning the sounds of the letters, teach them that I first, you know, the, the short sound. So what better way than to create a little alphabet book um, so you can have control over that because so many times the flashcards that I have found don't match up uh, to the sound, to the, to the original sound. Um, it might be two letters combined like the C and the H or C and celery. You see that all the time. Okay, that's when a C E is combined. It says the S sound. Um, so when we first teach them, we want them to know that C says the K sound. And so what we did is every day or at once a week, you can create a new plate um, and then just keep adding to it. So for example, um, this, you know, you would start with a letter A. Here are just little cutouts of apples. You can use anything that starts with the A, A sound to be able to create this. The nice thing about this, so when I review this, we make the play, I make the letter, right? The, the, the capital and the lowercase letter is what I would make. And so, and the nice thing about this is when you're kind of reviewing with your kids, you can draw the letter A with your fingers over it. And they have the little reminder here that A says A, 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 Apple. And so they can literally go through this and at nighttime, um, you know, they can pull out their book before bed. If you're someone who reads to their kids every night, you can start with just one paper plate and add to it every single day. So you would say, you know, Kyler, let's go, you know, what, what letter is this? A. A says what? A, A, Apple. Okay, you can go on. Now my little boy got to the B, um, but we had buttons glued on the B. So again, it's tactile, so they're able to use that. They can see exactly what that B would say. I'm gonna move on from B because let's be honest, my little one got a hold of it. Um, but C, cotton, k -k cotton. Okay, so again, they have this visual to remind them that C says k -k cotton. 
and it gives them that reminder. So when they're going through the alphabet and they're going through and they can't remember, they can say, okay, k -k cloud or k -k cotton. That's why, you know, this, the cotton was used for the cloud or the cotton. Um, you know, D dots. This is just, you know, those little markers where you can make like, like little dots. So again, if I was doing this with my son, what I would do is I do a plate a week. So if you have young, young kids and, you know, they're, they're, you know, learning their alphabet, um, I would do a plate a week where they, maybe on Monday, they get to decorate the plate. They spend the time and they might get to go through and um, make the D plate. And let's say you have little cut out dinosaurs or you have little donut stickers or something where they know that that sound is going to correlate with that, um, you know, and I'll just kind of flip through it. This is E, eh, eh, eggshells, right? So again, we don't want E to be an elephant because that would be the long E that says E. We want to make the actual sound of saying E. Eh. And so realize that. So when you are putting things together, like eggshells free, right? Like cook your hard boiled egg, take the eggshells off, and bam, you have eggshells that you can put on that. Um, and I'll kind of just flip through here real fast. We did F in feathers, G for g g glitter or gold, um, H, hay is what, you know, we, they we use for this one. I, insects, I, I, again, don't use icicles or ice cubes because that's the long, the I, we want the short one. J, j, j jewels, so, um, you know, K. And if I, again, if I was going with, through with my son at the end of the day, we would make the plate on Monday, and then every day we would, before bed, we would just go over that one letter. And then as we add, maybe the next week we do A and B combined. So A, A, B, B, you know? But, you know, what I like is the kids can go through, and you can take their little finger at nighttime and just trace. You can just with a little, little kid and who will sit in your lap, you know? They may not know what that correlation is, but if you start practicing with just using their finger and drawing the K over the plate, you know, they're getting something out of it. And they're getting that movement of K and the motions that they make. And, you know, if my little two-year-old, we, we do this with. He's not quite two. But, you know, he'll sit on my lap and we'll take his finger and he loves to just draw over the K. And so um, it's a perfect way to, to do it. I'll just keep going. K -k kangaroo, little kangaroo stickers. Or no, those were kitten stickers. Sorry. Um, L, the little leaves that you can glue right on top. M, money, um, you know, you could actually glue them right there on top. N, noodle, see how we did the, the noodle there. Um, again, feel free to share this video with your friends so that they can teach their kids, um, you know, how to do it. Puzzle piece, p -p puzzle, so again, they can trace using their letters and going from there. I'll just kind of flip through here. Quilt pieces for qu qu the R, rice, we just glued rice right on top. S, sand, T, toothpick, U, umbrella, V, vine, W, worms, um, for the W, X, x-ray, that's, let's be honest, that's the hardest one, so we wrote X's, Y, yarn, and Z, zipper. And so, this is a great way to be able to just teach your kids those, um, those, early interventions of being able to learn how to, um, you know, write the letter with your finger. And, um, you know, and, and like I said, you don't have to make the entire book today. You can make one letter a week if you have little preschool kids. You know, if you have more advanced kids, maybe it's a day activity that you do in the summertime. Um, but, you know, this just hangs on his clip right next to his backpack. And every night we just review these. And um, we don't do it as much anymore because my son is now reading. So he doesn't really need to go over the individual letters. But this is a great way to start introducing those letters and, you know, especially the sounds that they make and making that correlation. So, anyways, if you have any questions, feel free to share. Like I said, share this video, uh, share my page. I'll put my link in the bottom so people can follow. Um, every day we'll talk about a new strategy, a different activity, so you can find um, activities that meet the needs of your kids and are enjoyable for you and your family to learn and to teach them how to read, teach them the letter sounds, teach them everything that they need to know. So anyways, again, this is Ashley Watts Kids Corner. So like my page, like this post, share this post so that other moms and um, grandmas and everyone out there can get these free activity ideas to help their kids um, master um, reading. Have a good day, guys.